Apostle Dr. Faith Walters received the call from the Lord to begin a ministry that would empower individuals for success in the kingdom of God. And Lord God, we thank you for being such a great God. Lift your we hands. thank you for being a loving God, a gracious Welcome God. Welcome to Women and Men of Excellence Outreach Ministries. Located in Mount Vernon, New York, and online at wamo.org. Join Apostle Dr. Faith Walters, live on Sundays and Wednesdays at 2 p.m. for divine service, empowerment, worship, prayer, words of encouragement, Bible education, fellowship and more. This broadcast is a production of WAMO Media Network. Thank you for joining us. If you want to support this ministry, please subscribe, like, share this video, and leave a comment. It's easy and will cost you nothing. If you want to donate, please visit www.wamo.org forward slash give. You can watch our services via our website, live.wamoe.org, on television via Carib Vision, at caribvision.tv, and on the YouTube and Facebook apps. You are the Jesus, we exalt you Jesus, I love you Jesus. Thank you for joining us for the continuation of this episode. Please enjoy the program and don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. You got to wait in the presence of God. Come to worship. Let worship lead the service. If worship ain't leading the service, why are you there? Why are you there? And you got to worship. Don't go into the church and the church house thinking that we're going to wait for, for, for the worship uh, uh, people to come. Because understand so many people singing praise, singing praise and worship song. They're not worshipers. People just sing praise songs and worship songs, but they, they don't get into the presence of God because I understand you got to begin to worship from your house. You can't just go into the church house to begin to worship there. Your worship starts from your house, your altar at your house. That's where it starts from. So when you go up into the church building, you're already on fire. But they're going to keep you sitting down in your seat. Uh, you ain't going to be cute about nothing anymore. If you don't go up in the church and they can't allow you to say hallelujah, praise the Lord, and shout, you need to get out of that church. Because God want to use you. God want to do something different for, your, for his people. We sit down there, we're too quiet. And that is why the enemy is trying so hard. He's, he's working over time. He's working over time. And infiltrating the minds of our children. And our society is all flipped up and down because you're just rushing God. God got to be in my box, my time frame. Who are you? Who are you? And when you're sick now, you're calling on God. When sickness come over you, this all of that could be prevented. Working overtime while we're busy complaining and lamenting. That's right, e-worship. Yes. Working your job. You go on your job. Some of y'all work two and three jobs. But yet you ain't you ain't got you you can't give God six hours or ten hours. So what? So what? Take Sunday and as you fellowship one with another, spend some time in worship. You want God to do this and that for you. He can't operate in your life if you just give him his little pittance. It don't work like that. You got to give God your all. You got to give him everything you got. Holy Spirit of God. Oh, Jesus. I'm just so grateful today. I'm excited today. Hallelujah. I want to go higher in Jesus. I'm not going to sit up to the same old thing all over and over again. No, I got to step out. I, I've already stepped out my comfort zone. I've been already over the top. I've been around the corner, up the street, down the block, over yonder. I've been everywhere. I'm going to go further too. I'm not afraid. I'm not ashamed. I get my hands dirty for the Lord. I sit in the trenches with the people. The drunks and the the, the 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 drug addicts, the gang people, the the, the 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 pimp. I sit there with them. I stand with them. We gotta get out. We gotta we gotta do something more than what we're doing. 
you need god you need you need a, you need a, you, you need the lord to shake up your atmosphere you need something different in your life you can't sit down there every year after year after year different year and the same old thing you gotta change you gotta shift you gotta be a part of the shift you 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 think people think a lot of people believe that uh, 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 um, I don't know many people believe they can live any old kind of way and and they could go they're gonna go to heaven everybody believe that I don't understand but people live any old kind of way they check in with their boyfriend or check it up with their with their female friend and they feel that when they die tomorrow or sleeping with some married man they feel they go they they're gonna die and go to heaven who lied to you who lied to you Somebody lied to you. Somebody lied to you. Somebody lied. They're telling you that if you if you are uh, continue being a, a homosexual in, in, in same sex relationships, that when you die you're going to heaven. Somebody lied to you. Somebody lied to you. You are not going to make it into the kingdom. And you, you, some of y'all have your your your, your altars, your, your your candle burning, and you you're burning all these bunch of incense in your house and candles and all kind of stuff, and have some some kind of picture uh, of something. I don't know. I, I'm just going by the spirit. All kind of things up in your house, idol worship. The altar that you got is not connected to God. Oh, spirit of 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 God. I don't know how God lead me. I'm in a giving a welcome address. I don't know. He took me into one of the areas, but I'm going to flow with it. Bless the name of Jesus. So welcome to you. Bless the name of the Lord. And we're, we're, we're going to do a, do a year in review, but, you know, I, d- I just feel led to just bring the word right now, Holy Spirit of God. And I just, I just want to share the word right now as the spirit is leading me. Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Jesus. And I bless your name, Lord God. And I glorify your name, Jesus. I honor you, God. I'm just going to go into the word. Hallelujah. We're going to put some other things at the end. Holy Spirit of God. I'm just flowing the spirit. Hallelujah. Just flow with me. Bless the name of Jesus. We're going to be looking at Ephesians chapter 6 verses 10 through 20. Hallelujah. And the topic is being covered with the whole armor of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to be reading from the New King James Version. Bless the name of Jesus. And it says, follow my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God. You may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we know we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against principalities, spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God. You may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints and for me utterance may be given to me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in chains that in it I may speak boldly as I ought to speak and the word of the Lord is blessed blessed be your name you know that this word came to me 
you know, I, I, I was sitting there saying, Lord, I, I need a word to share with the people with the coming year. And, uh, and, and, and as I'm thinking about on Tuesday, 12, 27, 2022, if you all remember a woman, a, a woman, uh, New York in New York city, she was estranged. She was, uh, I believe divorced from her husband and, and this man, he was bringing the children back to the house. And, uh, apparently he saw her walking on the street uh, and, and, and he just took his vehicle his suv and mowed her down with the three children in the car hold the spirit of god and, and and as and i'm as i'm thinking about that uh, i said lord jesus so uh, there has to be a demonic force uh, that has caused this man uh, to do this lord god uh, and there's so much of it going on uh, so all of a sudden the word came to me uh, that we gotta be covered with the whole armor of god and the scripture came to me uh, that we got to be covered in this season. Holy Spirit of God, because we are wrestling. We we, we, we are dealing with all kind of, uh, of, of all demonic imps. Uh, oh, hallelujah. Going through this city, going through our towns, going through our villages, going through every part of our neighborhoods, our communities, uh, our government, uh, Holy Spirit of God. And he just rocking and doing stuff and just think he got it going on. Think he got it made in the shade. Think he got it so much uh, that he bigger than God. Uh, how dare he think uh, that he could take over and trying to destroy everything that God put forth. Uh, Holy Spirit of God, let me put some things into into it just to remind you i had to go through and look at some things uh, holy we had unprovoked uh, 611 mass shootings uh, in 2022 many just based on racial bias hatred jealousy just sheer madness hallelujah as the years go by each one multiplies with a negative intent it consistently even just two days before the the, the year end the the the, the year closed uh, a little young girl was shot to, uh, by a drive-by shooting holy spirit of god and and, and we're wondering uh, you know we're just sitting around where are the saints uh, where are the praying people holy spirit of god we can't just allow the enemy to think he can take up camp in our houses uh, take up camp in our government uh, our government are changing laws to suit people and let them whatever filth they're trying to do holy spirit of god uh, that, that they are they are justifying these people's behaviors and trying to make everything look so nice uh, they're trying to approve this law approve that law to cover this cover that how much you're gonna keep doing this uh, holy spirit of god uh, and then we got to understand uh, hallelujah that we are in a climate where there is so much things going on holy spirit of god and it it, it makes you to a point where even believers uh, because I'm afraid hallelujah they're saying to themselves i'm not safe anywhere so i uh, some people become secluded some people stay in their homes holy spirit of god they don't come outside for nothing holy spirit of god and we're talking about safe folk. we're not just talking about people that ain't safe we're talking about safe folk holy spirit of god they become so closed-minded they're worried about the size of the times if you serve god hallelujah if you believe the word of god you should not be afraid oh hallelujah understand that these things are spoken out it's already in scripture so we shouldn't be afraid of, and shivering and don't want to go, go here or go there afraid to, to, to step out you know even if you step off your bed things that happen holy spirit of god so we got to be able to understand that even though these things are going on as the word of god says in first peter 5 8 we got to be sober and diligent vigilant because the enemy of our soul is extremely busy he's very busy y'all he's been too busy and what are we doing what are we allowing the enemy to be so busy 
So that tells me, uh, and that, that, that tells me, clearly tells me that a lot of us are not praying. And if we were praying, the enemy would not be able to, to, to beat all part of everything. Is infiltrating everything, trying to thwart the plan of God. Holy Spirit of God, help me, Holy Ghost, help me, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. He's doing so much and he, he's just, just, just trying to make sure that he he just destroyed the plan. He, he, he just really wants to just corrupt everything of the people. And he already started in creation in Genesis 3. He already started there. So he just want to do all he can to destroy what God put forth. But understand, no matter how much he tries, he can't destroy the plan of God. But we got to be, 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 be uh, have the armor on us. We got to be covered. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We got to be covered by the blood. Hallelujah. Covered with the armor of God. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Uh, we got to put on the whole thing. Not all, not part of it. Saints of God, we got to be fierce. We got to be fierce in what we are doing. We can't just sit back and relax. Hallelujah. Can't sit back and relax anymore. Got to stop sitting there chilling out on the bench. Sitting in church and try, try to be the best usher you can and trying to be uh, 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 whatever you are in the church. It's okay. But what you do when you go outside? How many people you talk to outside? How many people you tell that, that Jesus loved them? How many people you tell that to? Help me, Holy Ghost. I'm, I'm just moving in the spirit, right? Holy Spirit of God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Can't let the enemy keep doing what he's doing. We got to be on the wall, saints. We got to be on the wall. Holy Spirit of God. Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Understanding Luke 4, 1 to 13. The enemy tried his best to tempt Jesus. Imagine that. He had a nerve to challenge Jesus to give him what he already had. Imagine that. So why are we allowing, you, you know, and Jesus had to let him know, get thee behind me, Satan. So if we have the power, what are we doing with the power? Well, we sit down there so complacent. Holy Spirit of God, I said, Lord, if the saints are praying, if we just bombard heaven, there's not a whole lot of saints praying. If some of us, we pray, but we, 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 we pray a minute or two prayer. What that going to do? You got to get in. You got to intercede. You got to go in. You got to spend time in the presence of God. Spend time worshiping God. Spend time. Giving God glory, honor, and praise. You want things to change in your life? You better, you better step up. Step up. Holy Spirit of God. Step up. Your marriage is falling apart. You better step up. Some of y'all married the wrong men. God told you to marry them. And you married them anyway because you feel that oh, I'm getting older. What that got to do the price of apples? What, what, what does that do with anything? And you're in these relationships and you're, 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 you're wanting to yourself, why am I here? You made wrong choices. Some of y'all wasn't even ready for marriage. But you hastily, you, you, you don't want to be by yourself. So, so you hastily get into stuff. You don't even understand it. You wasn't even ready to take that plunge. Some of y'all, because I'm engaged, I, 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 I'm, I'm going to sleep with him now because I'm engaged. It's okay because we're going to be married anyway. Disgusting. You mess up the whole thing before you even started. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. So we, 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 we got to, we, we got to, got to understand that we got to stop worrying, stop being selfish people and we got to get up and start praying. We gotta. We, we need the arm of God. We need to 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 really push out. We gotta 
get some prayer services together. When in your house, they, they had, Paul is, you know, Paul is in prison sharing these stories, sharing this message. He's in prison. But yet he's still, he's still trying to encourage the saints. I'm just all over y'all just flow with me. Encourage the saying the man is in prison. It made me think about when, 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 when you got drug dealers in prison and the gang bangers in prison, they still controlling the outside. So if, 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 if they got all in control, what are we doing as saints? What are we doing? How long do you pray? How do you, how, how, how do you spend time talking to God? You just, you got to rush, go here. You, you go to your job, one, two, three, maybe four jobs. I don't know how many jobs some people have because I just think it's ridiculous. Because one job is enough. But if you if you if you if you're tithing right, you you're you're, you're tithing into a, a place of that you're getting fed and things are if things are working, you, you're tithing into ministries, you're tithing into something that you see growing and building and doing something for the community and doing something for people. They're not gonna understand. You're just putting your money, just throwing your money um, among thorns. And if you're tithing and, and giving wholeheartedly and, and, and things are working, you see things working out. Some of y'all worked so many jobs, y'all don't tithe. That's why you got to keep working so much. Talk about I ain't giving no money to this church. I ain't well, you ask the Lord to lead you to somewhere to give that 10%. Because that 10% of your money ain't belong to you. I don't care what, what people talk about. We ain't got to do this and we ain't got to do that. Well, guess what? It worked for me. If I wasn't doing it, I would be where I am today. I, my, I, you know, I can't afford not to tithe. So find some place to tithe, some place that's growing and building, and you see things happening. And you're learning, you're, you're expanding, you see signs and wonders. Holy Spirit of God. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless your name, Jesus. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. So let me tell you something. The enemy is busy, but you better get busy. You better get busy. He doing his thing. A lot of time when I talk to saints, they call the name of the enemy so many times in the conversation. I'm like, what is wrong with y'all? He doing this, he doing that. Okay. So what are you doing as a woman and man of God? You say you love Jesus Christ. You said you, you, you surrender your life to him. So what are you doing? What are you doing? If he's busy, you get busier. You stomp on him. You crush him up. You tell him to get thee behind me, enemy. You ain't going to come up in my house and do what you want. Take a stand over your house, people of God. Take a stand. Put on some worship music and, and, and just dance. Sometimes you just got to let, let go and let God have his way. Hum a song, huh? Something. Melody in your heart. Oh, spirit of God. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. We got to dismantle the enemy camp. We can't let him keep doing what he's doing. We can't. We can't. We can't keep doing it trying to discourage the minds of people you got people uh, I, I was reading where <clears throat> this young transgender person poor daddy daddy help him so much even give him money to change whatever change up his gender whatever it is and he turned around and and killed this daddy and hurt his sister and you know what, you know, when I was reading that, I said, Lord, some of them take these, the, the vaccine and they, they take these drugs. God, you got to take these drugs in order to alter your, your, your body, uh, uh, your hormone. You got to take drugs, uh, est uh, estrogen for the female and something else, uh, or testosterone, something else you got to use for the male. You got to take these enhancement drugs. You got to take them all the time because if you don't take them, your body after a while will resort to what it was originally designed for. So these, these altering drugs mess up your mind. 
because it, 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 the drug, it's not for everybody. People think it's for everybody, but it's not. You want to be this, you want to be that, you fall in this trend, you fall in that trend, you want to about Hollywood, you want to be this, and it looks good in Hollywood, and and, and everybody doing it, my friends doing this on social media, people are on TikTok doing this, and people are on TikTok doing that, and, and you're saying to yourself, oh, it looks like something I could try. Changing up who I am. Trying to be like this idol or that idol. Instead of being yourself. It's all belongs, starts in the mind, so you, you go out and you, you get these drugs and you have them switching up your 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 body parts and switching up your whole system not realizing these so many drugs that they put out there is not designed for your body it's gonna mess up your organs it may be changing one thing but it's causing a problem someplace else but we so caught up in allowing the enemy just to do whatever he wants and, and we just gonna flow with it we just gonna ju just let it just keep just do it, have a call over our children, all over our house, all over everything that we touch. How dare you, enemy? How dare you think you're going to come up in my house and try to take over my children's mind? Telling me, that, tell my child that my child is, is a boy in a girl's body and a girl in a boy's body. You are a liar today and, and we got to take a stand. Holy Spirit of God, we got to take a stand. Hallelujah. We got to make sure we're not going to back down. We're not going to sit up there and allow him to do all the foolishness he's doing. It's getting me too much. We're in perilous times, and I'm telling you, it's getting worse and worse and worse. And, and, I, and I keep saying, I said, if our church, if the, the people of God, begin to pray the bible says the two or three are gathered in his name he's in the midst of it heaven come down something gotta change something gotta give something gotta shift understand you gotta have your whole heart and your mind in, in connection with the lord don't give God half of this and piece of that and piece of that when you feel like it and come at your tired self and hear God, hear me, hear me. Don't do that. Have an altar. I was at a Christmas service, a uh, uh, service before <clears throat> the Christmas service before I went to Christmas Sunday, I was away and the, the, the preacher said, how many we have altars what altar do you have for the lord what's the altar you have in your home to spend time with jesus christ to spend time in his presence and and you pray and and, and you get a breakthrough and allow the lord to speak to you how many y'all do that now rushing here and rushing there. Help me, Holy Ghost. Rushing everywhere, but ain't got no time. You got to be at work by 6 o'clock. You get up at 4.30. Get up at 3 o'clock to pray. So when you go out the door, you be able to be saved. You ain't saved nowhere. Subway station, they killing over there. Driving your car crazy people are, 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 are doing stuff. Driving mad, drunk drivers. Sitting at the bus stop, people come doing crazy. You're walking down the street, things happen. Take some time to be in God's presence. You want to be covered. I'm just going to go through it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Be covered with the whole armor of God. Armor, weapons of war. If you see the shields where they, they, they put on when they when they go into battle, they have the shield, they have the body armor. Hold the spirit of God and and and, 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 and it's a, it's weapons of war are self defense and figuratively it utilizes as a spiritual resource. Be, be, the armor of God represents the defense we must take as believers in combating the enemy's domain. Got to put it on, saints. You got to put it on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
verse 10. I'm going to go through the verses. Verse 10, it says to be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. It means to walk in the strength of God. You got to stand strong, saints. You got to stand strong. Fear says you're going into battle. That's what we got. That's what we got to do now. We're at this place now. We got to be fierce, people. Can't be sitting up there mediocre now. Got to get your mind right. You got to be focused. Can't be no wishy-washy. You got to be clear on what you're doing. Because the enemy of our soul, like I said before, God is demons everywhere. We got to be prepared at all times. Got to be on the watch for our souls and that of our loved ones. We can't just be just allowing them to do all kinds of stuff. We can't even up there sitting there accepting sicknesses. Plead in the blood. Plead the blood. Plead the blood over the sickness. Hallelujah. Yes. You'll be ready. The, the, the enemies that work around the clock. Yes, he is. So we got to be at work around the clock. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 We can't sit up there accepting sicknesses in our bodies. The doctors say, oh, you got cancer. You run home and you're going to sit up there and sulking and cat carrying on and crying and all kind of stuff. Yeah, they say the doctors say, don't say I got it. My diabetes. I hear people say that all the time. My sickness, my this, my that. Why you? Why are you owning the illness? You're a child of God. Open up your mouth and declare and decree the word of God over your 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 situation. When you go out, before you go out the door, ask God to touch your mind, touch your heart, touch your spirit. Don't just sit up there let any old thing happen. But understand, too, some of uh, the sickness that we have is because we got bad eating habits. We got to change some of that. We got to change certain things. Some of us, our hearts ain't right. We harbing unforgiveness, all kind of stuff in your head. And you were just angry all the time. And, and, and you just all... Oh, 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 are all upset all the time and, and, and it's everybody bothering you and you call yourself a child of God? Where's the love? Where's the love? Oh, the spirit of God. It, you you allowing the, uh, the, the, the enemy just, just, just wreaking havoc. You can't allow it to go on. And the word of God says, uh, he says, it said God's armor, verse 11, cover yourself in it, wrap yourself. We're in a spiritual battle, people, a spiritual battle. Wake up. We're in a spiritual battle. We got to be strategic in this time. We got to stand firm against all strategies of the enemy. Holy Spirit of God. And verse 12 says, we're not fighting flesh and blood enemies. Understand, it ain't the human we're fighting. People, people may do you things, but, it, but it's not them doing it. It's, it's them allowing the enemy to use them to do the things that they do. Some of them lie to you. They steal your money. They do all kinds of stuff. They say they borrowed, but actually in reality, they deceived you. A lot of deception. And that caused a lot of rift in relationships. Can't trust them no more. That's what the enemy wants. Destroy relationships, destroy friendships. That's what he wants. And you allow them to have his way. And when I learned the people say they're going to borrow something, they actually mean that you don't give it to them. You don't know that. They say borrow it to you and you think you'll get it back. But in their mind, they think that, hey, you gave it to me. So they ain't got to give it back. But they use the word borrow. Just to draw you in, reel you in. That's the enemy. That's the enemy using them. Your sister and brother in the Lord. That's the enemy using them. I'm going to speak. I'm going to be real. I'm going to be real. Holy Spirit of God. So we're not fighting against the flesh and blood. It's, it's what's in their spirit. It's what they allowed, what they opened up the door to. To deceive. They don't realize they're deceiving their brothers and sisters. Holy Spirit of God. 
So we can't consider human beings. They know that 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 it means open their doors to spiritual. That's what I said to allow themselves to be used by him. We got satanic churches, y'all. Satanic churches, churches that worship Satan. Open up the 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 the, the, the doors and the the they the, they have these seances and people you know call up in holding hands and chanting these religions that chant and and and, and you know you call it in spirits and you don't realize it we gotta say people go go talk to 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 to, to um people that read palms and people who do say a conjuring the dead got people that do this okay we got idol worship. They got a church where they worship Beyonce. She ain't asked for it, but they worship her. Idol worship. They got clubs where they satanic rituals, secret uh, uh, um, uh, um, deities where where where, where they have a uh, 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 you have the Freemasons and you have the skulls and bones, all the different fraternities. Everybody got these secret societies. Doing what? If it's secret, it can't be good. Okay, people operating in witchcraft. People don't understand that when, when you control, uh, 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 spirit of control, you control people. You're operating in witchcraft. A lot of people don't understand that. Controlling people's minds, controlling people's thoughts, controlling their feelings, that how they should think they, you want to conform them to you. That's witchcraft. Controlling people is witchcraft. God give us free will. So why are we allowing people to control us? Religions to tell us to sit, stand whenever they tell us to do this, dress this way, dress that way. Why are we allowing to happen? Why are we not studying the word of God? Let God let them un, let us understand that it ain't in our clothes. All what you do on the outside don't mean jack to God. So what's on the inside is what counts. Now you're not gonna you're not gonna go to heaven because you dress like, like you're a sanctimonious. And you wear the the, the the cover up the head and you cover all the way down to your feet. That's not gonna get you to heaven. Somebody lied to you. On leaving out your eyes. That ain't getting you to heaven. Because if your heart ain't right and you ain't serving God and you ain't accept Jesus in your heart, you ain't going nowhere. But you're going to sit with the enemy and his angels. Because that's what you're working yourself to get to. And, and people in these religions, they they, they claim that they're, they, they take people's lives in the name of God. Excuse you? Who gave you that right? Did God tell you to go do all that? Didn't the word of God say vengeance is mine, said the Lord? Who gave you the right to go take somebody's life saying that you're working for God? I didn't know God had people in the employment. People are just not, 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 not just so controlled by other people. They're not realizing that this ain't right. Wake up. Wake up. Take a stand, people. Take a stand. Pull away from that. You got struggle. You got issue. Try to pull away from it. Ask God to help you. Cry out to Jesus. Cry out to him. I need help to get out of this situation. I need help to get out of this, 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 this uh, <clears throat> marriage that's driving me insane. Man cheating on me left and right. And I'm sitting in here with my children thinking it's okay. And, you know, you're sitting in church. They tell you, oh, you can't leave him. The enemy is a liar today. The Holy Spirit of God. Well, I tell you one thing. My mom was driving me crazy and I asked God to help me get out of it and he did. So there you go right there. How you like them apples? Don't sit up there thinking, th th thinking that, it, uh, oh, he ain't coming to Dutch. What I got to do the price of it? If you hurting your brain, you hurting your mindset, that's still abuse. I asked God to take me out and he did. So understand, 
You ain't happy. You don't need to be in a place where you ain't happy. Talk to God. He help you. You don't need to be in no religion. That's causing you to be in a box. You can't move right. You can't move left. You can only do what they say. They say jump, you jump. They say sit, you sit. They say go take up the box, you take up the box. That's not what God ordained. That's not what he ordained for you. Give you that free will. Hallelujah. And we are you're allowing people to go against the free will that God gave you. Okay? The free will that he gave us, the desire people to 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 uh uh um People not bow to these rituals, bow to these gods and their rituals and, and their rules. They keep you bound, okay, in bondage and not fulfilling what, what God has for you. God has a purpose and a plan for your life. You don't need to be caught up in this. People are so deceived and they're blinded by the truth. Help me, Holy Ghost. John 3, 14 to 21 says two things God gave us that he gave us Jesus, the gift of salvation. God's grace is given to us and we're encouraged to use our freedom to choose the light as a response to God's love. You got these countries, you got Russia, China, extreme Islamic cultures and families that force people to conform not giving people the information to allow them to make their own personal decisions. Got to change that this year. We got to change the narrative, people. Break free uh, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, of allowing the enemy to keep you in a box. Holy Spirit of God. Know that we're fighting. We're fighting against principalities and powers, rulers, against rulers of and authorities of darkness in high places. Hallelujah. So the apostle Paul is, in, is encouraging us. He, he's instructing us. You know, I really admire the, the, the apostle Paul. I really admire him. It don't matter. He was going through so much. He was a martyr for the Lord. When, I, when he got that chance and, and he was on the way to Damascus to destroy the Christians and the Holy Ghost stopped him on the road and tell him, why are you doing this to my people? And his life changed in that instant. His life changed and he turned it around. And because of all what he did, uh, somehow it, 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 it just turned back on him, but it, it didn't stop him. Because sometimes, uh, we're, we're just like when you 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 commit a crime and, and you go to prison and, and you give your heart to the Lord, you still got to do the time. So some people didn't forget the things that he did. So they did everything they could to, 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 to mess him up, to destroy him, but he didn't, he, he didn't let that stop him. They put him in jail. They did all kinds of things to him. But he, even though he was behind bars, he was still sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. And he instructed us, he gave us seven things to think about. Seven things that we got to, you know, connect as children of God, as believers of God. He said, first, put on every piece of armor covering that we can be able to withstand and resist in these last days. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Put on everything. Bring it on. Got to put it on. After it's over, we still stand victorious and triumphant, having a firm foundation because in the end, we win. Put on the piece of armor. It said, stand your ground. Using, using physical armor to illustrate, wearing the belt of truth. Means being, being rooted and grounded in the word. Of God, you live out to the scriptures as protection. Psalm 91. How many of y'all know that scripture? Memorize it. Put it on the doorpost of your house. That's that scripture that kept me through the pandemic, the pandemic, excuse me. 
And I'm still utilizing that scripture to this day. They got all kind of other stuff coming out here, all kind of different, more of the viruses coming in this virus and all kind of other virus. I ain't got time to name them all, but you know them all. Do your research. But it ain't stopping me. I still declare and decree Psalm 91. It's a belt of truth. The body armor of God's righteousness. Those who believe in Jesus Christ, who believe in the triune God as the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, believing wholeheartedly and flowing in what he desires for our lives. Hallelujah. Romans 3, 21 to 26. God is righteous. He's right to justify those who believe in Jesus Christ because of his atonement, his sacrifice for our sinful nature. We are we the righteousness of God? Do we believe that we are God's righteousness? Then he's saying to, to put on the shoes on your feet, the shoes of peace, the readiness to preach and teach the good news of God's peace given to mankind. So even if you you may not be called to ministry as I am and some people like me, but, but yet when you come to Jesus Christ, your job is to share the word of God. Share love to people. Share something, share something, share something that's encouraging to uplift people's spirit. Oh, the spirit of God. Hallelujah. Philippians 4, 7 says, the peace of God will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Peace is the harmony and calmness of the body, mind, and spirit, trusting in the power and the grace of God to get you through any situation. Hallelujah, that you may encounter. Hallelujah. Just allow the Lord to govern your life. Just allow the Lord to, to control your life. See, see, God ain't going to take control of your life unless you give him. See, man, take control. But God allows you to make up your mind, make a, make a decision to follow him. He ain't going to force himself down your throat. That's one thing I love about God. Thanks for watching. Please join us next time for the continuation of this episode. Stay tuned. Thank you for staying with us today. We invite you to come back again and join Apostle Faith Live on Sundays at 2 p.m. for Bible education and church services, and Wednesdays at 2 p.m. for Feature Wednesdays, where we share messages from other kingdom leaders from within the WAMO network. Are you a kingdom leader with a message of hope and inspiration for the children of God? Send us an email with your message to support at wamo.org or join the WAMO Media Network via our website, wamo.org forward slash network. Are you in need of prayer? Email prayer requests to support at wamo.org or join our prayer line, Monday mornings at 7 a.m. Lord God, we thank you for being such a great God. We thank you for being a loving God, a gracious God. If you need help to overcome low self-worth, kill your marriage, restoration through therapy for children, teens, individuals, and couples, book an appointment for therapy with Dr. Faith at our website, wamo.org forward slash counseling. You may also access self-help resources at our website, wamo.org forward slash resources. If you would like to become a member, volunteer, or partner with WAMO Outreach Ministries, send your email to support at wamo.org. Come as you are. Why you should join this ministry. 1. To empower people for success in the Kingdom of God through Bible education. 2. To provide support services for the upliftment and development of your community. 3. To empower children and youth to increase their knowledge and earning potential by advancing their skills and professional capacity. 4. To provide solutions for families who need shelter, a place for worship, skills development, and access growth opportunities for community leaders. And 5. To provide support and a source of hope for senior citizens, ex-convicts, and people in need. It's easy to support this ministry, 
Here is how you can help. Through tax-deductible giving, easily accessible everywhere via our website, at wamo.org forward slash give. You can give a one-time or monthly donation, or contribute funding to one of our programs. Become a member of our community or volunteer team, apply at our website, at wamo.org forward slash membership. Become a member of our network, and let us work together, to build and grow a strong, healthy community of Kingdom Advocates, empowering people for success in the Kingdom of God. Sign up at our website, wamo.org forward slash network. Other ways to join us and support the ministry. Subscribe on YouTube at WAMO Ministries, Apostle Faith Live. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at WAMO Ministries. Contact us anytime at Women and Men of Excellence Outreach Ministries. P.O. Box 2077 Mount Vernon, New York 10551. Telephone 914-699-2482 and email support at WAMO, W-A-M-O-E, dot org. Your support and generosity will positively change lives.